Hey there, Michael Douglas, Superintendent of Cater City Schools. I uh, wanted to get something out to you this Friday. Uh, we've been in contact with Alabama Department of Public Health. Uh, happy to report that uh, Morgan County will not move into the red, very high risk category. So we will be starting school next Wednesday, August the 12th. Uh, and, and main thing I wanted to do was just touch base with you and ask you for patience. Uh, we put out a plan that was really uh, left it up to the parent. Um, every parent has a right to choose what's best for their family. Uh, and we've done our best to try to accommodate all those groups that has created, uh, you know, a scheduling, um, a massive task that our principals have done a great job with. Uh, we probably know there will be some, uh, minor changes. Um, but we're just asking that you would be patient in terms of the first three days of school, uh, really for every group, I would anticipate, uh, uh, it, it'll look different for every group, but it's kind of the same mindset. Um, you, you want kids to come in. We want them to get oriented to their classes um, and just get all the information so that, you know, after those first three days, we could really, you know, start diving back into curriculum and instruction. So just be patient with us. We realize those first three days, uh, this will be a unique year. School will not look the same. Um, Kids will have on masks and, you know, we'll try our best to socially distance as much as possible. Um, but as you've seen, you know, really across the state, for those that have started, I would anticipate uh, some issues. Uh, we've been working with Alabama Department of Public Health regarding monitoring. They put out a toolkit uh, this week that basically outlines that, you know, there will be cases where your child might have been exposed and uh, that would uh, dictate a quarantine. So just know that uh, this will be a unique school year. Um, and, you know, there will be instances where a school, a classroom or the district might have to go virtual. So I hope all my parents, I hope you're planning for uh, all those scenarios. Um, obviously, as soon as we get information, we'll uh, we'll get it out to you. But I just wanted you to anticipate that uh, it will be a unique school year. Uh, and I don't want you caught off guard that uh, if your your school or your classroom or your child has to be quarantined uh, for a period of uh, either 10 or 14 days, uh, depending on what the health department guidance is. Um, just want you to expect that. Um, that's something that, you know, we'll just work through. Obviously, please remember that we built the plan in phases. Um, we're going to look at this through Labor Day uh, and then uh, we'll make tweaks to the plan then. Um, but uh, we wanted to stay consistent so that you could have a firm start date, that you would know what the plan is going from the start through Labor Day. And we've tried to stay consistent with that. Um, but um, it, we do need you to be aware that um, it's just going to be a year where, you know, we're going to need your your grace, your flexibility. Um, and but we're going to do the very best job we can to deliver the very best instruction we can, because uh, all of our children need a great education. Uh, so whether or not you chose virtual or you want that blended or you want that traditional option, uh, we're going to do our very best. And we look forward to seeing you on August the 12th. Thank you.